first swim I stopped off in was a swim where I know fish hold up when it's hot. It's one of the areas of the lake where there's a lot of wheat growth. So this was an obvious spot I was going to check out first. And straight away when I arrived, it was clear the fish were on the top and they looked hungry. They looked like they were going to take a floater. So I didn't hesitate. I grabbed the floaters, went down to the peg, started feeding them, got quite a quick response. So I rigged up on the top. It took a bit of work, a bit of time to get them really confident. Some nice ones there now. Come on, I need a boat. No! I've lost it. They snapped me up. It snapped me quite clean off, um, so I'm absolutely glad it felt like a really good fish to be honest. Um, yeah, so the day progressed after that, the fish uh, definitely got their heads down. So I switched over to the, the bottom. I was fishing them two rods over the back of that big large weed bed out in the middle. fishing one closer in in a little hole where there was quite a few fish um, showing during the day. They obviously like this area. Here we go. Beautiful common, beautiful. And what a result after losing that fish earlier off the top. To get this one, fishing on the bottom, over the back of that weed bed, out in the middle, over a light scattering of cell. Beautiful, beautiful result. Hopefully this is the first of many to come. And, uh, that thunder, thunderstorm we had seems to have optionated the water got them on the feed. Happy days for us. Let's hope we get some more. Lovely.
a nice result last night to get that £22 common. Um, I'll just run you through how I went about catching this fish and the rig I used. The first thing I'd done was I wanted to find a nice clear route where the fish were patrolling. Now, after fishing on the top, I could see clearly that the fish were definitely using a patrol route over the back of a large weed bed. So the first thing I'd done was I got my marker out, I had a little lead about, and I could feel that it was quite a large area, almost like a runway, where the fish were just travelling around the back of this weed bed. Um, so that was an ideal place, and for it to be clear, it was a no-brainer really. I wanted to get some bait right there. So. Uh, I went about zipping the marker up, I scattered out about 20 uh, freebies, I was using the 50mm uh, mainline cell baits frozen, um, and then for the business end, for the rig, because it was quite a clear area, I felt confident presenting a more simple rig, keeping it simple is always key. Um, so this is what I was using. So then, starting from the bottom end, got the tube in, uh, green weed, going into the tail rubber, connected into the lead clip system, and I'm fishing a two ounce lead. Uh, you know, I, don't, I don't like to go below two ounces if I can help it. Um, reason being, when that fish picks up the bait, I really want it to drive that hook into the bottom lip. Going down to the business end, I'm fishing a semi-stiff, uh, soft-coated end trap material and I've just stripped that back about two inches before the hook. Uh, the hook pattern I'm fishing is a wide gape, size 8. Then for the bait, I've got the blowback ring and a 15mm popper. So that's the rig, real simple. Nice. So then, that fish last night fell to the uh, mainline diamond white pop-ups or the impact range yeah, they, they smell epic fish love them uh, and they've been doing me the business down here recently so yeah that's the hope So basically this is a real quick update, um, I've just gone for a walk around the lake and on, the wind is pushing into the far corner and as I've approached the last swim um, I've, I've seen a few carp in this shallow little bay right in the margins um, so what I've done is I've left the bucket there, put a handful of pellet out, I've got to get packed, I've got to get around there as quickly as I can, maybe we'll be able to sneak around the edge, um, quick process so yeah let's crack on. After making that move, I arrived to the swim and the heavens decided to absolutely open me. I got drenched, it definitely put the fish off, you know, the low pressure cut me and it got cold. They weren't on that shallow spot where I saw them when I went and first put the bucket down. I decided to fish throughout the night, woke up in the morning, didn't have a single bite, didn't see any shows, so I made the decision to leave the lake and I'll definitely get back down within the next few weeks to hit up one of those big ones. It's definitely due a big one, and I hope I get one on film. But until then, I'll see you later. Tight lines.